you're the gatekeeper, right? And yep. you're standing at the gate and they they don't know that the party is happening. Like they want to come in, but you're not telling yep. them, hey, there's a party inside yeah. and people are just walking by and you're like, hey, hi, hey, I how's it going? Nothing going on here. Right? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm imagining so like doing. this is such a good analogy. I just, I'm going to use it all the time now. I'm so grateful. But thinking if you're standing outside of your own house party, and this is what this is, and yep. there is music blaring on the inside, right? And they can maybe see like figures dancing or like just sound. The person walking by is like, what's happening over there? And because you didn't invite them, they now feel the thing that you don't want them to feel, which is isolated, rejected, unaccepted, no seat at the table. And so it's it's making sure that it's like the come one, come all to the avatar that you're really trying to teach and that you know that you can nurture and create further community with. Because you can open up the floodgates, you can open up the doors and the whole neighborhood can be inside, but they're going to feel that sense of this isn't right for me. This isn't my type of community. And they're going to leave. And what happens with bad press? What happens with bad word of mouth? If it doesn't suit them, they're the ones yapping and gossiping rather than the person who is like, this has been life transforming. I'm going to tell everyone I know for some reason, we just know that the bad news travels faster. So how can we create a community where the good news is what people are talking about consistently? Yeah. I mean, right out of the gate, like even just using my, my community as an example, um, I, I love showing up in there. <clears throat> I love talking about marketing. I love talking about business. I love talking about being a mom in business. And so being able to be that leader because you are in a leadership position, whether you like it or not. Right. And a lot of people seem to want to kind of shirk that responsibility, but you are, if, if you are running a community, like you have that responsibility, you are that leader. That's how people see you, even if you don't see yourself as that. And so, you know, for me, it's been about showing up in my community as a leader um, and posting consistently, you know, especially in the early days when there were barely anybody in, in my group and nobody was watching, right? Like I had to still show up as if there were a thousand people in the group. I showed up like that from day one. And so that's an inevitably what actually led to more people coming is because I was showing up consistently. I was, you know, being a leader in terms of I'm not going to wait for you guys to engage with me in order for me to show up. Like I am going to show up and be the one to share a tip or to share what's on my heart and mind and not worry about how many likes and comments it gets. Right. We're, we live in a world where people are so focused on you know, the vanity metrics and the numbers. And it's like, well, I, I didn't have any, you know, anybody watching my live. And so I'm just not going to go live again. Right. I'm not, I'm not going to do that again. Well, what if one person watched and you didn't even know it and what you said had an impact on them? Like, was that worth it? I would say, yes, it is worth it. And that's what keeps me showing up that way. And therefore creating, it's like a domino effect, right? Because I showed up that way and was willing to show up that way from the beginning and just, talk about the things that were important to me, ask questions, get to know my people, that sparked them doing the same. And now, right, like my group is very engaged and has people posting without, you know, me needing to always be present. Yeah, that's so critical. And in that empowering model is essentially what you're exampling.